Hi, I'm Tom Connell, her art director for Daveness, and what we're going to be sharing with you over the course of these next few videos is a few quick, simple, at-home hair techniques. Um, my biggest bit of advice would be to use this time that we all now have as, a, as an opportunity to reset your hair, to spend time using the right shampoos, conditioners, and step away from heat, irons, tongs, hair dryers, and the abrasive movements that we have to make when we use brushes to blow dry our hair. Obviously, we're not being exposed to as much pollution outside as well. All these are good for your hair, and all these are, this is a good opportunity to get your hair in the optimum condition, so when you do go back and visit your hairdresser, your hair's feeling great, and you've got more options for what you want to do with it after this time. This is my wife, Trisha. Say hello, Trisha. <laughs> and uh, she very kindly decided, uh, agreed to model for me um, because I want to show, share with you guys a really quick tip for how to control curls at home. So Trisha has, um, let's say unruly hair, um, but she normally, because she doesn't really like to wear her hair natural, she blow dries it straight. Well, I say she blow dries it straight, I blow dry it straight. So we're using this time now to try and embrace the curl a little bit more and to use some of the Daveness products to let her hair dry naturally. But it is very curly, it can have a little frizzy texture to it also. So I'm just gonna share with you a few tips, a few of the products that we use to try and control the curl. And that, that's what, if you have hair that, um, that you feel is a little bit more unruly, then it, it isn't possible to you know, just apply a little bit of product, let it air dry outside and it just look and feel great and these kind of nice tussle waves. That isn't always possible with different varieties of hair texture. So I'm going to use the, the Love Curl range and just show a really quick, easy way to control dry your hair. And then I'll show you the result afterwards as we let Trisha's hair out and it's, you can see how the products have and the, and the technique together have helped dry the curl, but done it in a controlled way so that the, the frizz is kept at bay and the, the cleanness of the curl is kept as much as possible. So what we've done is shampooed with the Love Curl Shampoo and conditioned with the Love Curl Conditioner uh, and bi-weekly Trisha will use uh, the Love Curl Mask as well just to give it an extra injection of moisture. So the hair's wet. I'm going to go through, first and foremost, with a little bit of the curl primer in the Love range. You can be quite liberal with this uh, as well, especially on Trisha's hair, it's going to absorb it quite a lot, so you don't really need to, if, you, if your hair is a little bit finer, and a little bit lighter, um, don't use so much, but on this type of hair you can. So then, I'm just gonna comb that through. I'm a big believer in making sure products distributed as evenly as possible through the hair. Sometimes if you just spray through the top, that's where the product remains. Um, then I'm gonna move on to the curl cream. So, I'm gonna apply quite a generous amount of this on it. And you'll notice what I, what I do, I keep my fingers together when I apply the product. If you have your fingers open and you start to rake it through, I find that it disturbs the curl and, it, and that's, that can add to frizz um, when the hair's finally dry. I'm gonna start underneath because I don't wanna then apply just a lot of product right around the front because if anyone's hair's gonna go greasy or maybe feel a bit too heavy, it's gonna be around the front hairline. So I always start underneath. And then I'm just moving it all the way through the hair. I'll take a section with my hand and apply it through there. And then we use a wide tooth comb. So you're gonna be able to buy this at most pharmacies. And again, I wanna make sure that the product is distributed evenly all the way through the hair. The difference between using this and using my hands, I was saying I don't wanna rake it, is this is just a little bit more controlled. With my hands, I think if you start going through the fingers, it starts to disturb it and you start to get these little frizzy pieces of hair that, that won't add to a smooth result in the end. So I've got the curl cream through, I've got the curl primer through, I'm gonna comb the hair back, and then all you would do is just push your hair forward to find your natural parting.
Me and Trisha sometimes disagree on where her natural pattern will be, don't we? You got it. So, combing this into place now, and we're going to split the hair into five sections, two in front of each ear and three through the back. So if I just come through this side, I'm going to section the hair just behind the ear, and I'm going to twist away from the face. So you see I'm combing it quite a thing. And the, the point with, the, with something like this is it's controlled drying. So I'm combing it very, very tight and I'm starting to twist away from the face into a very, very tight rope. Let me leave it like that. Then I'm gonna split back through into this quarter. Again, comb it down. And I'm going to twist towards the face because I want this to come away and I want this to go towards. And then I'm going to do one through the centre of the back and I'm going to repeat on the other side. When I've done this all the way through the head, Trish is then probably going to go sit in the garden and just let it dry naturally. And because of the tightness through the root and the fact that I've kept this really quite tight and neat in the rope here, it's going to mean that the curl isn't left to its own devices, it's drying in a very, very controlled way. It takes slightly longer to dry like this, but when it does, the effect will be much smoother, much cleaner, and it'll much more, it'll be, it'll be a nicer way to, to get to know your curls and to, to get to know your hair in its natural state. So when this is dry, we're gonna come back on camera and show you how to dress it out using the shimmering mist. Okay, Trish has been letting her hair dry in the garden. Uh, and what I'm going to show you how to do now is to unfold the ropes that we've created. So the temptation with this is to go through with the fingers and to rake it all out, but then that disturbs the wave and the curl too much. So the way that I like to do it is start from the bottom again and twist in the opposite way very gently and just start to separate from the bottom all the way through there. And we'll come around this side and do the same. You really want to resist the temptation to start to rake through from the top because then that's going to disturb the curl too much. It's going to add to the frizziness and it's going to disturb the work that you've done. So just coming through this side, it's worth taking the time, even at this point, Okay, so now we have unfolded the, the ropes that we created earlier, I'm going to use a little bit of the shimmering mist, I'm going to have to touch the tip of the head forward, I'm going to do a light spray of that all the way through it and just get just start to give a little bit more life into these roots for the finished look. If you could just tip the head forward please for me, thank you, and, yeah, and just shake your head very gently, thank you very much. And you'll see at the root all I'm doing is just lifting the root a little bit because what you don't want is flat to the root and then big width through the bottom. Okay, put the head back up for me please. So you can see how what we've created here is a controlled dry. And um, Trisha said if she was to leave that dry naturally it would go very triangular and very wide. So as I mentioned earlier, you're creating a flatness through the side, uh, through the root, and a controlled drive through the bottom just gives a really smooth, chic, wavy finish. Can you like to look at the camera now? Thank you very much. Do you like it? I do. Do you like it? I don't know yet. She loves it. <laughs>